part 2, the number line. You will find this on page 25 in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, let's look further at the number line. The number line is a straight line with a zero point in the middle. This is zero. With positive and negative numbers listed on either side of zero. So, on this side is the positive and on this side will be the negative. And going on to infinity, and that's why we draw an arrow and an arrow. That arrow on each side is indicating it's going to infinity. Writing numbers on the number line makes it easy to decide which number are bigger or smaller. So if it's more to the right, it's bigger, and if it's more to the left, it will be smaller because the numbers go become greater and the numbers become smaller. Let's look at a few examples. Okay, now from the number line on the previous page, we can see that 2 is to the right of negative 1. So let's just write it. There is 2 and there is negative 1. Can you see that 2 is more to the right? So 2 will be bigger than negative 1. So let's see how we will write it. So if I have negative 1 and I have 2, remember the inequality sign. The mouth will always look at the big one. It wants to eat the big one. So if this is a crocodile, then the mouth wants to eat the big one. Let's just undo that. Okay. Now, therefore, negative 1 is less than 2 and it's indicated like this. Also, if I have negative 4, it's to the left of negative 2. Let's first indicate that. Negative 4, there is negative 4. And where will negative 2 be? There is negative 2. Okay. So, if I'm going to write, I can see negative 2 is more to the right. Therefore, it will be bigger. Now, you can either write it like this. Let me show you the two ways. If I write negative 4 and negative 2, I know that negative 2 is the bigger one. But I can also indicate it like this. And then the inequality sign, the mouth, will just focus on the biggest number. Now, these symbols, the smaller and the bigger, are called inequality signs. The other two inequality signs will be like this with an equal sign. So it's less than or equal to. And if it's like this and we are reading it from this side, then it's greater than or equal to. Okay. Now let's go through these examples and then you can try a few. Now if I say fill in the blank with smaller or bigger, it's negative 3 and 5. Now I just want to undo because it's going to help me to do the next ones then we have space okay now if i say negative three there is negative three mark it and there is negative five now can you see that negative three is more to the right it's like one person owes three dollar and the other person owes five dollar who is in the better position the person with three dollar so if i have negative three like it's standing there negative five I will always, the negative 3 is the biggest one, so the mouth will focus on the, it wants to eat the biggest portion. If I go to number B, let's look at number B, it's negative 5, so it's again negative 5, let's just make another color, and it's 2. Oh, you can see that 2 is more to the right, 2 is the biggest one. So if I have negative 5 and I have 2, Definitely, it's better to have $2 than to owe somebody $5. And then the last one we can focus on, it will be 0 and negative 1. Now there is 0 and there is negative 1. Can you see 0 is more to the right? So definitely 0 is going to be bigger. It's better to owe somebody no money than to owe somebody, to have no money, than to owe somebody one dollar. So this is the biggest one. Now, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now too. And then as soon as you are finished, 
you can continue the video. Okay, let's continue with number A. If we look at number A, it's negative 5 and negative 1. Let's first mark it. Where is negative 5? There is negative 5. And then where is negative 1? I can definitely see negative 1 is more to the right. So definitely negative 1 is going to be the bigger one. If I look at number B, and I'm going to say, and I'm just going to use another color. So it's negative 7 and 3. Okay, let's see. Negative 7 and 3. Now, if you look at that one, you're going to definitely see that three is far more. It's better to have three dollars than to owe somebody seven dollars. So three will be the biggest one. And then let's look at the next one. We can even do it in white. This will be number C. It's two and zero. Let's just mark it. There is zero and there is two. Oh, two will be the bigger one. And the mouth always wants to eat the biggest portion. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's look at example three. Celesta owes two dollars. Maria owes four. But Emily does not owe anything. In fact, she has two dollars in her pocket. Place these people on the number line to find who is the poorest and who is the richest. Now, having money in your pocket is positive, but owing money is negative. So let's just see. Let's start. Celeste owes two dollars. There's Celeste standing. She's owing that two dollar uh, maria owes four. Oh, there's mario standing and then emily is having two dollar so who will be the richest definitely e emily and who will be the poorest definitely mario so celeste celeste is poorer than emily and emily is the richest now you can see that mario is the poorest one okay now I want you to stop the video again and I want you to do number B. Okay, let's look at number B. Now, the temperature in Ketmanswip. Now, Ketmanswip, Marintal and Ochevarongo are three towns in Namibia. So the temperature in Ketmanswip was three degrees below zero. The temperature in Marinto was one degree below zero, and the temperature in Ochivarongu was two degrees zero above zero. Place these temperatures on a number line to find which places have the coolest and the warmest temperature. Okay, now let's start reading again. It's always good to first read it once just to get the idea, and now we can read it more intense and even mark a few things. The temperature in Ketmans is three below zero. So let's see if there's zero, three below. So if I want to indicate that, then this will be Ketmans work. Okay, let's read further. The temperature in Marinto was one degree below zero. Let's go back. One degree below. And that will be what? That will be in Marinto. And then the last one in Ochivarongo was, let's just highlight it again, Ochivarongo was two above zero. So let's just get another color. So Ochivarongo was two above zero. And that is O G V. Wrong. Go. And now, what is the question? Place this on the number line. We did that. Um, to find which place have the coolest and the warmest. So we can end up by saying the coolest will definitely be Ketman's whip. And the warmest will definitely be o chi va rung go okay and that's all